Hey guys, before we get started, gotta give a few shoutouts from last week's video. I juggle a lot, YT, Grindor Bot, and Color Me Bright. Here's a huge thumbs up that goes out to you. Guys, thank you so much for watching Toy Gander. So I did a video about a year ago, maybe a little bit longer, all about Godzilla figures. I had these knockoff Godzilla figures. You guys overwhelmingly wanted to hear more about them, wanted to see more about them. So finally I saw some more that came up, and that's what we're going to review today is some Godzilla minifigures, or Godzilla, depending on where you're from. So let's start off with minifigure number one. So although I will tell you I am not the most educated Godzilla fan, I can tell you I'm a fan nonetheless, and one thing I know, I know a Mecha Godzilla when I see him. This is a fantastic design. I love this design because one of the comp one of the issues that I had with the previous line was the detail just wasn't there, and they really fixed that in this line. You could see his green eyeball shows up nice and bright. He's got some great printing on the arm right here. Looking at the torso, it just looks I mean, literally, it looks like Megatron. I mean, there's so much going on there. And it's not just like a, a copy and paste deal. They actually made this a custom print, which I do like to see. He also has printing on the back legs there. On the side legs, excuse me. And let's see, is it uh, It looks like it's probably individual or maybe a copy and paste. No, it is slightly different on that, which you don't typically see. Just a fantastic overall start to these figures. I love the printing on this. I love the design. And if you didn't know what this actually looked like when I separate it, you can kind of see that's exactly how it is and just sits right on top. Props goes out to whoever originally created this. Now, the one uh, caveat to that is, take a look at this. Bink! This thing literally just pops right off. But there's no surprise there because this is not official Lego, but you guys already knew that. Mini pig number two. Now, although this might be a design that I actually previously did, this one does show up a lot better. If you really notice, his eyeball is done very nicely. You can see that uh, black mark right on there, and it's actually done fairly neatly, which is kind of shocking. Great printing on the side of the torso here, printing on the front, and what's interesting is actually the printing on the front torso kind of uh, see, is shown through this uh, top gullet of the uh, Godzilla. That's kind of uh, funny to see. But either way, I really do like this print. It's kind of a, I'm not a huge fan of translucence, but in this case, I think it's kind of cool, like an ice Godzilla. I don't know if that's actually a thing or not. Let me know in the comments, but either way, great uh, idea and design. And he's got some printing on the side here too, so, and I don't think any printing on the back. Let me double check. Yeah, no printing on the back, which makes sense because most of his tail and his, uh, you know, upper head piece actually covers all that. But I do like this design, even though it is kind of hard to see. Minifigure number three. Now, what's interesting about this figure is that he kind of looks like the Mecha Godzilla, although he doesn't have that shiny, silvery look. This is a little bit more dulled down, and he has red demon eyes, if you can see that right there. They look absolutely menacing. Um, I, maybe this is Shin Godzilla, or some type of iteration of it. I'm not sure, but uh, that's another thing. You guys gotta let me know who this Godzilla is. I think it's the exact same printing on this character. Just, yeah, different coloration, like a palette swap. So that's understandable. I do get that. I do like this figure, though. Um, and, like, the purple actually really, it fades pretty nicely onto the red for this dorsal spine. But uh, overall, I the part I like most about this specific one is the red eye and how it is actually very detailed and actually accurate. It's not just slopped on there like the previous iteration that I did of these. Next fig. Now this one, obviously not much to be said about this other than the fact that this is a green version of this Godzilla. Other than that, it's almost identical. He even has the black eyeball. Another thing to note, and I didn't really mention it before, but look at the teeth. The teeth are painted white on there, and that, again, is a surprise that it's actually that detailed. The one thing I probably would like to see is maybe, I don't know, the black on this just doesn't seem like it's exactly right. Maybe he should have like a little pupil in there. I don't know if it's accurate or not, but I think it might look a little bit better when it currently looks. Either way, it does look okay. Next, Godzilla. 
All right, this is Shin Godzilla, I'm pretty sure. Uh, because he's all black and he's got like, I like this really hard contrast look. The overall printing design on this looks pretty decent. And I really do like uh, this version of the Godzilla compared to really any of the other ones, maybe with the exception of the Mecha Godzilla. I think these guys go toe to toe and I'm, I don't know, I don't know who to put my money on, but either way they both look uh, really bossing up. Digging this design, I like this version of it, I like the red eye, I like the printing on the, the uh, back spine here, and it is just a cool looking minifig. Bonus round, so I have two figures, this one and the next one, that I need the top three subscribers to let me know the names of them and put it in the comments below. And I will pick the top three subscribers and give you guys a shout out in the next video I do. So this is minifigure number one for the bonus challenge. All right, guys, this is figure number one. Now, you can look at the overall design. It is actually done pretty well. At least, I will say the look to it and the molds are done well. I'm going to take off this helmet real quick. Hold on. Take off the uh, shoulder piece right here. And just looking at the printing on the torso, this is some of the most vibrant printing I've seen. And such a great transition from the bottom legs up to the top torso. One thing that LEGO's really, uh, as far as recently, has been known for, they've been slacking on the printing light colors on dark figures. It just shows up muddied and like they could go over it a couple more times with the pad print. This is actually done fairly well and I really do like that contrast. It really nice and vibrant super vibrant sides right here some great printing on that great printing on back so the printing is done really well he does come with a uh, looks like a some type of I'm gonna call that a spoon because it's not quite sharp enough to be a knife and then uh, some type of weapon right here but really nice design there when you put the this shoulder piece on top it starts getting a little bit off. I can't quite put my finger on it, but it just looks a little bit cheaper. It's not done with the same amount of care as the actual minifigure itself is. And then when I put the custom molded head on, it leaves a little bit to be desired. Now, I know I'm getting picky, and I know you guys are saying, Well, Tygander, you're so picky, blah, blah, blah. I know, that's what I'm doing. I'm here to just let you guys know what the actual figure is about. And I'll say just the painting on this piece right here doesn't look all that great like if you look at the eyes they're pointed in different directions so he's got the toy gander google eye look and then his mouth is okay but it looks like it could be a little bit more vibrant i mean you look at that white right there and you look at that white and it's just not in comparison not on the same level for sure and then the printing of the, like this little horn thing it looks okay but uh, i think it maybe could be a little bit more gold so this is minifigure number one let me know who this character is bonus minifigure number two All right, now looking at minifigure number two, I have to say almost the exact same concept applies to the previous one. Although this one, because it's blue and black, it doesn't show up as bad. For whatever reason, red is just such a harsh paint color to choose from. It's one of the lightest paints out there. And I think that may be why this one looks a little bit worse, but uh, not by much, I'd say. The overall design is done almost exactly the same. In fact, I think it's the same. Just some different palette swaps on here. I do like the torso. I'll take the torso so you can see that. It's the same thing on this one. I just love the look of that. Just reminds me of Cyborg Ninja right there. I just think that's such a good print. Really nice and vibrant, especially the red dot right in the middle. Very surprising for a knockoff company. Some good overall side printing right there. Same thing goes with that. Comes with the same exact weapons. Great printing on the back. And then when you put this thing on there, it's just, I don't know. It's like they, they gave it to a different, uh, you know, paint company to paint this two pieces right here. And it just doesn't show up that perfect. Um, another thing is the top torso is a little bit loose. It just feels like uh, maybe the mold got a little bit off on this one. So it kind of shakes around, wobbles around a little bit more than uh, I would say this one does. And that's just probably a different variation in this actual batch. But that is minifigure number two. So who's number one? Who's number two? Let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, that is what we have for today. Let me know in the comments below if you liked 
these Godzilla figures that we reviewed. And if you don't, let me know that too. Either way, I appreciate you guys watching. And until next time, you can help us take a gander.